welcome to the Cox Communications Academic Challenge in partnership with the Escambia County School District and WSRE-TV. I'm Bill Willis, the moderator for tonight's match. Our judges this evening are Ella Sims, the Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources for the Escambia County School District. Dr. Wes Davis, the Director of Evaluation Services for the Escambia County School District. Our scorekeepers are Laura Colo, the K-12 Reading Specialist for the Escambia County School District, and Cindy Nixon, the Education Coordinator for Cox Communication. Our timekeeper is Linda Thompson, the Language Arts Specialist for the Escambia County School District. Our teams competing this evening are Washington High School and Woodham High School. And now we'll have the players from Washington High introduce themselves. Ethan Martin. Jonathan Thompson. Hassan Rashid. Lena Vlasnik. And the coach for Washington High is Carolyn McClendon. And now we'll have the players from Woodham High introduce themselves. Reese Zimba. Tyler Dorsett. Johnny Hutchinson. Jessica Tarrant. And the coach for Woodham High is Kathy Bain. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages to get tonight's match underway. What would you do if you had to choose between the buffalo and the giraffes? Between a flower or an elephant? What would you choose? What if you had to decide between a hundred-year-old tree and a million-year-old beach? Between drinking clean water or breathing clean air? Would you make the right choice? Would there be a right choice? Now there's a way to help. Not just one, but all these things. Earthshare, the world's leading environmental groups working together. It's one choice we can all live with. Ask your employer about workplace giving. Welcome back. We're looking forward to an exciting match. Good luck, teams. Here's our first toss-up question. What Spanish Baroque artist painted the flaying of Marcius? Woodham, John. Velasquez. Incorrect. Washington, Jonathan. Caravaggio. Incorrect is Giuseppe di Ribera. Toss-up question. Tart was an Egyptian goddess whose names meant the fat one. In art, she was depicted Woodham, John. A hippopotamus. That is correct. And here is your first bonus question. It is a math bonus set. Let theta be an angle in standard position. In which quadrant can theta lie when sine theta is positive and cosine theta is negative? Second. That is correct. Number two, besides zero, what is the other solution to the equation 6y squared equals 48y? The answer is eight. You have 10 points on that bonus set. Toss-up question. Who wrote the short story, The Celebrated Jumping, Woodham John? Twain. That is correct, and here is your bonus set. She was the daughter of a South Carolina governor and the wife of a U.S. senator who resigned his office to serve in the Confederate government. During the war, she recorded her observations and thoughts in a diary, which she kept under lock and key. Because of her prominent social position, she witnessed many key events of the time, including the formation of the Confederate government and the attack on Fort Sumter. Name this woman whose diary describes not only these important events, but also the details of daily life in the South. Stowe? Incorrect. It's Mary Chestnut. Number two. What woman during the American Civil War was known as the angel of the battlefield and later helped found the American Red Cross? Barton. That is correct for 10 points. Toss-up question. King Hassan II has ruled what North African country since 1961? Woodham, Tyler. Algeria. Incorrect. Washington, Jonathan. Morocco. 
That is correct, and here is your team's bonus. Number one, in what year did the Thirty Years' War end? 1648. Correct. What French cardinal provided funds for the Protestant cause during the Thirty Years' War? Richelieu. That is also correct for 20 points. Toss-up question. So far in the 1990s, only two people besides Michael Jordan has won the MVP in the NBA Finals. Name either one of the other two. Woodham Reese. Akeem Olajuwon. That is correct. And here is your bonus. Number one, the Minority Business Development Agency is under the purview of which cabinet department? Health and Human Services. Health and Human Services? Incorrect. It's the Department of Commerce. The Maritime Administration is under the purview of which cabinet department? Transportation. That is correct for 10 points. Toss-up question. What 1992 PG-13 movie featured Rob Lowe, Tia Carrere, Woodham Reese? Wayne's World. That is correct. And here is your bonus. Number one, he was a contemporary of Velazquez and worked in Velazquez's native town of Seville. Name the Spanish Baroque artist who painted the lying in state of Saint Bonaventura. Zerberon. Correct. This Spanish Baroque artist also lived in Seville. Name the 17th century artist who painted two women at a window. Goya. Goya. Incorrect. It's Bartolome Esteban Murillo. You have 10 points on this bonus set. Toss-up question. What planet ranks second only to Earth as the densest Washington Jonathan? Mercury. That is correct, and here is your bonus. Number one, obsidians, fell sites, and basalts are all examples of what type of igneous rock? Sulfides. Incorrect. Extrusive. Shale. Limestone and dolomite are all examples of what class of rock? Composite. Incorrect. Sedimentary. No points on this bonus set. Toss-up question. From which poem does this line come? Fear death? Woodham John? Prospicky. That is correct. And here is your bonus. Number one, Ian McKellen plays an old alcoholic sitcom-watching Nazi hiding in California in the anonymity. In what 1998 movie, which co-stars Brad Renfro, does he appear? Apt pupil. Number two, with a swastika tattooed on his left pec, what actor plays Derek Binyard, the very model of a neo-Nazi in the movie American History Edward. X. Robert. No, no. Was a kid. Edward. Norton. Norton. I'm sorry, the bell had sounded first, but that is a correct answer, Edward Norton. No points on this bonus set. Toss-up question. His name meant bullheaded. What is the name of Washington Jonathan? Bucephalus. That is correct, and here is your bonus set. Number one, what 20th century composer created, created the opera, The Harmony of the World? Schoenberg. Paul Hindemith. Number two, The Girl of the Golden West is an opera composed by what Italian? Puccini. That is correct for 10 points. Toss-up question. Before the 19th Amendment was ratified, what woman was first elected to the U.S. House of Representatives? Washington Jonathan. Jeanette Rankin. That is correct. And here is your bonus. It is a math bonus set. Number one. To two significant digits, what is one-third percent of 690? 320. Incorrect, it's 2.3. Number two, evaluate log 81 of 27. The answer is 3 fourths. Toss up question. Name the Jordanian monarch who. Woodham John. King Hussein. That is correct. And here is your bonus set. 
an oath sworn by which river of Hades was considered so holy that it could never be broken, not even by Zeus himself. Sticks. Correct. Which river of Hades was the river of fire? Phlegathon? That is also correct for 20 points. Toss-up questions. How many judges presently... Woodham, John. Seven. That is correct on the Florida Supreme Court. Here's bonus question number one. What American regionalist wrote the novel The Hoosier Schoolmaster? The answer is Edward Eggleston. Name the American author considered one of the foremost representatives of Midwestern regionalism who wrote Main Traveled Roads. What is it? Who? Cather. Cather? Incorrect, it's Hamlin Garland. No points on this bonus set. Toss-up question. What title character of a 4,000-year-old Middle Eastern epic, Woodham John? Gilgamesh. That is correct, and here is your bonus. Number one, what American during the Revolutionary War was known as the Fighting Quaker? Penn. Incorrect, Nathaniel Green. What American during the Revolutionary War was known as the Swamp Fox? Marion. That is correct for 10 points. Toss-up question. What is the ecological term for the most stable commun... Woodham, John. Niche. Incorrect. I'll repeat. What is the ecological term for the most stable community in a habitat and one which will persist if undisturbed? Washington, Ethan. Habitat. Incorrect. It's climax community. Toss-up question. What town is the setting for Thornton Woodham John? Grover's Corner. That is correct. And here is your bonus. Number one. Ferns are contained in what subphylum of Kingdom Plantae? Bryophyta. Incorrect. Pterophyta. Number two. Seed plants are contained in what subphylum of Kingdom Plantae? Sporophyta? Incorrect, it's Spermophyta. No points on this bonus set. Toss-up question. He was born in Hamburg, Germany in 1833 and became an accomplished pianist as a child. And by the age of 20, had become the accompanist. Well, we've reached the end of the half. We'll be right back after these messages with the score at halftime. This is Good News Pensacola, the people, resources, and partnerships that contribute to education in our community. Sponsored by Cox Communications. Watch Good News Pensacola, 7 p.m., seven days a week on Channel 19. Crackhead. Drug dealer. Street hustler gang member all kicked out of the community with the help of kids like me me us you can make a difference we have the power to help prevent crime call 1-800-722-TEENS to find out what you can do in your community it's time we're judged by what we do not how we look at the half it's woodham 160 washington 70. Both teams have made substitutions. We'll allow the players to introduce themselves. Mary Ellison Bars. And from Woodham. Scott Ferguson. Well, welcome to both players, and let's start our second half. Toss-up. Larger than 12 of the moons of Jupiter, this astronomical object was first sighted on January 1st, 1801, and is the largest asteroid in our solar system. Name it. Woodham Tyler. Series. That is correct. And here is your bonus. From which Shakespearean play does this line come? A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Richard III. Correct. Which character in Act 4, Scene 5 of Romeo and Juliet is unable to rouse Juliet and raises the alarm that she is dead? Friar Lawrence. Incorrect, it's the nurse. You've answered one correctly for 10 points. Toss-up question. 
Name the artist who left Basel in 1526 to go to England, where he became court painter to Henry the Woodham John. Hans Holbein the Younger. That is correct, and here is your bonus. A ball is thrown vertically upward with an initial velocity of 96 feet per second. How long will it take the ball to reach the highest point in its path? Five seconds. Incorrect, three. Number two, the hardest mineral component in granite forms the lovely white sand beaches of the northern Gulf of Mexico. What is this mineral? Quartz. That is correct for 10 points. Toss-up question. Hammersley's Range, Null Arbor Plain, Lake Torrens, and Lake Eyre are all located in what country? Woodham Reef. Australia. That is correct. And here is your bonus. Number one, which African-American author wrote Native Son? Right. right. Correct. Which African-American author wrote The Fire Next Time? Baldwin. That is also correct for 20 points. Toss-up question. Name the structure in the cell which is the primary point of difference among plant, fungi, and protist cells as different from animal cells. Washington, Jonathan. Cell wall. That is correct. And here is your bonus. Number one. Toucan Sam is the name of the trademark character of what cereal? Fruit Loops. That is correct. Diggum is the name of the trademark character of what cereal? Honey Smacks. Honey Smacks. Incorrect, it's Sugar Smacks. You answered one for ten points. Toss-up question. How many years did Adolf Hitler's thousand-year Third Reich actually last? Woodham Reef. Sixteen. Incorrect. Washington, Jonathan. Twelve. That is correct, and here is your bonus. Number one, Nuku'alofa is the capital of what Pacific Ocean island nation? <laughs> Malaysia. Incorrect. Tonga. Victoria is the capital of what Indian Ocean island nation? Sri Lanka? Incorrect. Seychelles. You've answered no questions in this set. Toss-up question. Name the second president of the United States to die in Washington, Jonathan. Um, Zachary Taylor. That is correct. And here is your bonus. Number one. In the world of professional hockey, the Chicago team is known as the Black Hawks. By what name is the Carolina team known? Hurricanes. Hurricanes. Correct. In the world of professional hockey, by what name is the Colorado team known? Avalanche. That is correct for 20 points. Toss-up question. Evaluate the expression sine 30 degrees plus cosine 60 degrees and leave the answer in simple rat. Woodham, John. One. That is correct. And here is your bonus. Number one, in what state was the author Mark Twain born? Missouri. Correct. Number two, in what state was the author John Steinbeck born? California. Correct, for 20 points. <coughs> Toss-up question. Who was the first officially appointed poet laureate of England? Woodham, John. Thomas Gray. Incorrect. Washington, Jonathan. Wordsworth. Incorrect. John Dryden. Toss-up question. What is the proper term for the middle or muscle layer of the heart? Woodham, John. Myocardium. Correct. Here is your bonus. Number one. In computer jargon, for what does HTML stand? Hypertext management link. Hypertext. Hypertext management link. Incorrect. Hypertext markup language. Number two. In computer jargon, for what does GIF stand? General image file. General image file. Incorrect. Graphics interchange format. 
No points on this bonus set. Toss-up question. What man in November 1998 easily defeated his Republican challenger, Charlie Crist, to retain his seat in the U. Woodham John? Bob Graham. That is correct. And here is your bonus. It is a math set of questions. Number one, give the decimal equivalent of 1001 base 2. Thirty-three? Incorrect. The answer is nine. Number two, give the decimal equivalent of phi four base eight. Seven? Incorrect. Forty-four. No points on this bonus set. Toss-up question. Name the element commonly found in placer deposits and associated with quartz veins, which may be refined by crushing and dissolving the mineral-bearing rock in cyanide. Washington, Jonathan. Silicon. Incorrect. <coughs> Woodham, John. Incorrect. Gold. Toss-up question. What movie starring Jessica Tandy was awarded the Oscar for Woodham Tyler? Driving Miss Daisy? That is correct. And here is your bonus question. I'll name the professional basketball star, and you tell me where he played college basketball. Number one, Michael Jordan. North Carolina. North Carolina. Correct. Shaquille O'Neal. LSU. 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 That is also correct. For 20 points. Toss-up question, what is the secant of 300 degrees? Woodham, John. The square root of 3 over 3. Incorrect. Washington, Hassan. 3 radical 3 over 3. Incorrect, 2. Toss-up question, what magician is the father of Shakespeare's Miranda? Washington, Jonathan. Prospero. That is correct. And here is your bonus. Number one, after the American Civil War, what German-born artist applied many Hudson River school techniques in his monumental canvases of the Rocky Mountains? The answer is Albert Bierstadt. Number two, John Biglin in a single skull, Professor Henry A. Rowan and the swimming hole are all works by what 19th century American artist? Eakins. That is correct for 10 points. Toss-up question. In what case did the U.S. Supreme Court first claim the power of Judish Washington, Jonathan? Marbury versus Madison. That is correct. And here is your bonus. Name the geologic era in which the Silurian, Carboniferous, and Permian periods are found. Pennsylvanian? Incorrect, Paleozoic. Number two, Miocene, Eocene, Pliocene, and Paleocene are all epochs of which geologic era? Carboniferous? Incorrect, Cenozoic. No points on that bonus set. Toss up question What novel by Horace Walpole is considered the first? Woodham Reef. The Castle of Otranto. That is correct. And here is your bonus. Number one, what 20th century composer created the opera The Spanish Hour? Ravel. Correct. What 19th century composer created the opera Les Huguenots or The Huguenots? Berlioz. Berlioz. That is incorrect. It's Giacomo Meyerbeer. Ten points on the bonus. Well, we've reached the end of the match. We'll be right back after these messages with the official score. Okay, ready for our field trip? If it's cable in the classroom, it's gonna be awesome. It's like 37 different cable networks with all these cool shows to use in class. There are no commercials, and it makes learning a total adventure. Cable in the Classroom is a free service of the cable television industry, and now there's a way for you to help your neighborhood school. Volunteer to record selected programs for teachers to use in class. Okay, now what do we learn here today? Cable in the Classroom comes home with Cox Communications. 
Some people just watch TV, and others learn something new every time they tune in. Join me every month on Education Showcase for a preview of the best educational programs on cable. From family viewing to cable in the classroom to feature stories for parents, teachers, and students, you'll find out how to make learning fun and relevant to today's world. So don't just turn on the television. Turn on to learning with Education Showcase, a monthly guide to cable's best educational programs. Thanks to both teams for an excellent match. The official score is Washington 160, Woodham 330. Congratulations to Woodham, and for those of you in the viewing audience, we hope you'll catch future matches. Thank you, and good night.